So first we're going to begin by priming our eyes and I am using Max Painterly Paint Pot to do so and you want to make sure to get your whole lid and also in your inner corner and under your eye. And now I'm going to take Soft Brown by MAC and apply this into my crease with a fluffy blending brush to use this as a transition color so all the colors blend smoothly together. And next I'm going to take a Maybelline color tattoo in Bad to the Bronze and apply this onto my lid. You don't have to use this, I just like it. And you also could have done it before you put the soft brown into the crease. I just forgot so I have to do it after. So after I finish applying this, I'm going to take my soft brown again and go over it once again. And next I'm going to take my NYC Sunny Bronzer. This is meant to be a bronzer, but I like to use it as an eyeshadow because it's a really great crease color. And as you can see, I'm just going to put it into my crease using a blending brush. And I am also going to drag the NYC Sunny Bronzer down onto my lower lash line. And next I'm going to take a bronzy color by MAC. I'm not sure the name because it doesn't have the name on the back and it came in a little duo. But I'm just going to be packing this directly onto my lid. And right on top of that I'm just going to put on Urban Decay's Half Baked right over it and this color is in both of the Naked palettes. And next I'm going to take Swiss Chocolate by MAC and I'm going to use this to deepen my crease. And I'm going to begin to cut my crease using a pencil brush. And basically all you do is you just draw a line right into your crease so it looks more defined and I'm just going to blend it all together. And now for the fun part, I'm going to be taking a glitter liner by NYX, a copper glitter that I got from Hobby Lobby, and also some lash glue. And I'm going to begin by applying the glitter liner right onto my lid. And after that, I'm going to spray an eyeshadow brush with Max Fix Plus take some of the copper glitter from Hobby Lobby and start packing that right over the glitter liner. And the glitter liner is just going to help it stay on a little better, but still not as much as you may like, so I'm going to put on some lash glue right onto my lid and put some more copper glitter right over it. And I know this looks like a lot of glitter, but I mean, come on, it's homecoming. It's the one day that a girl can be a full out princess. And then I'm going to continue by lining my eyes. I don't show you the full process just because it's really hard to film it and I have to get really close to the mirror. But I do end up winging it out and I do do a pretty dramatic wing as you can see. And I'm just going to go back in with MAC Swiss Chocolate and just go over my crease one more time and make sure it's all blended out nicely and I'm also going to drag it on my lower lash line. And next I'm going to take Foxy in the Naked 2 palette and apply this to my brow bone to highlight it. This is an awesome highlight color. This is pretty much the only one I use anymore. And I'm also going to take Booty Call and just apply this to the highest point of my eyebrow and also my inner corners. It's very important that you highlight your inner corners for homecoming because it's going to look awesome and make your eyes look very bright in pictures. And we all know that you'll be taking a lot of pictures. And next I'm just going to put on my lashes. I don't show you just because once again I have to get really close to the mirror. But while we wait for it to dry I'm going to apply my liner and I'm just using MAC Smolder. And I'm going to smudge it out just a little bit with Max Carbon, but you don't want to put too much of this. I'm going to curl my lashes, 
so the real ones blend with the fake lashes and then I'm also going to apply a few coats of mascara to the top and bottom. Don't forget the bottom lashes. That's really important. And next I'm going to take the glitter liner again and just place it on the bottom of my inner corners. It's just going to give you that extra sparkle. And once again, I'm going to go back to my NYC Sunny Bronzer and blend it out. I'm just making sure that everything is blended very nicely and that there are no harsh lines. Blending is key. And you are most likely going to have a lot of fallout from the glitter, just like I do on my nose right there, if you can see that. So I'm going to clean it up with some concealer. And then I'm going to take my new red lipstick. It's in Refined Ruby. It's a L'Oreal Infallible Lipsticks. And these are great for dances because they stay on so long. And don't worry if you make a mistake because you can clean it up with some concealer. And after that, you are done. So thank you all so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!